A troubled mother of two who killed herself was let down by a mental health unit's serious failure when a nurse let her wander out of the facility unsupervised. Polly Ross, who was 32, was struck by a hull to Scarborough train less than four hours after walking out of Westland's mental health unit in Hull unsupervised. This was despite Ms. Ross, of Driffield, East Yorkshire, having made a number of attempts to kill herself, and who was deemed to be at high risk of suicide after staff discovered a noose in her room. Ms. Ross, who needed to be checked on every 15 minutes by the unit staff, suffered myriad problems, including postnatal depression, psychosis and bipolar disorder. Polly Ross, who was 32, was struck by a hull to Scarborough train less than four hours after walking out of Westland's mental health unit in Hull unsupervised. Ms. Ross was sectioned under the Mental Health Act in February after entering a drug-induced psychosis caused by taking cannabis and, later, magic mushrooms. Hull Coroner's Court heard the 32-year-old used to the drugs in attempt to ease hyperemesis gravidarum, the same debilitating pregnancy sickness currently afflicting the Duchess of Cambridge. The inquest into her death heard that, in the days prior to the tragedy, Ms. Ross had told staff that she did not trust herself to leave the unit alone, because she feared that she would buy tablets. This was despite Ms. Ross, of Driffield, East Yorkshire, having made a number of attempts to kill herself, and who was deemed to be at high risk of suicide. Staff also found a noose in her room and her observations were increased from every hour to every 15 minutes. However a nurse at the unit had not been made aware of the earlier incidents prior to a handover. In his narrative conclusion, senior coroner Paul Marx noted the decision to allow Polly to leave the unit had a direct casual effect on her death, and stated the clear policy of Humber NHS Foundation Trust at the time had precluded patients on 15-minute observations leaving unaccompanied. Staff at Westland's inpatient unit also found a noose in her room and her observations were increased from every hour to every 15 minutes. The inquest heard the Miss Ross, left to the drugs in attempt to ease hyperemesis gravidarum, the same debilitating pregnancy sickness currently afflicting the Duchess of Cambridge, right? The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge with their daughter, Princess Charlotte, leaving the hospital in London. The Duchess of Cambridge was a sufferer of HG, which she has suffered through all three of her pregnancies. Excessive nausea and vomiting during pregnancy is known as hyperemesis gravidarum, HG and often needs hospital treatment. Unlike regular morning sickness, HG may not get better by 14 weeks. It may not clear up completely until the baby is born, although some symptoms may improve at around 20 weeks. Some pregnant women be sick many times a day and be unable to keep food or drink down, which can have a negative effect on their daily life. Exactly how many pregnant women get HG is not known as some cases may go unreported but it's thought to be around one in every 100.